Hey bitches, today I am bringing you another BTS video and today we are having your big suggestion which is me reacting to their personal fashion choices on the Las Vegas airport. So this is what we're going to do today and without further ado, subscribe to my channel, please do that, I need that and let's go into judging. We're going to start with Jin and the reason I'm starting with him is because I actually like his outfit a lot. I could have started with somebody like freaking Jimin who doesn't look good, but we're gonna get to him, so that's a sneak peek for you. So, Jin is wearing this old denim look, and I really respond well to denim. It looks kind of used and washed out, and that is what I... I almost like denim in any form. I like the roughness of denim, and I like how it kind of burns the fingertips as you, as you touch it. I like that feeling. I even like this floral embroidery that he has all over the shirt. Well, not the shirt, the jacket and the pockets, but when we talk about embroidery, embroidery works on certain fabrics. For example, on Jin it looks great, and it usually looks good on tightly even woven fabric, where on loosely woven it doesn't look good. For example, on cotton and linen it's gonna look fine, whereas on other fabrics that are loose, like muslin, it's not gonna look as good, and that fabric is something you have seen probably your furniture or dresses. It's fine, and it's actually pretty good. Why am I even talking about this? Jin is wearing full denim, it's all Louis Vuitton, I'm pretty sure it is. And this entire look probably costs around $10,000. And we're going to talk about the prices of these outfits when I go to the Jimin next. For him, I'm gonna say he looks really good, it's my second favorite outfit of them five. By the way, why, why is there only five of them? I only chose this because most people recommended Las Vegas, so that's why I did it, but there's only five of them, it's usually seven. So please do let me know why there was only five of them. Also, as I said, I really like this look. I, I'm not gonna rate anyone because I don't feel like airport outfits is something to rate. It's not as fashionable as the runway show is, let's say. But I really like it. And I even like the sneakers, which is a shocker because if you watch my free previous two videos, I always go on a rant about hating sneakers but in this case i really like that he incorporated them because they look good especially because they're white and i hate white sneakers most of them all the next one is our dearest jimen now let me talk about this outfit because and i will tell you right away y'all can hate me i don't care i do not like this outfit for example i will say this again all these guys, they look good. They look good wearing anything, their faces are stunning, the hair is always on point, they look stunning. But I talk solely about the outfit itself. I don't look at his face, I don't look at his hands, whatever, I just rate the outfit itself. This outfit is just not good overall. For example, he's wearing probably head to toe Louis Vuitton from what I can tell, I'm not sure about the pants, but all of this, as with the previous guy Jin, costs around $10,000. Certain items of clothing can justify the price. For example, shoes. Oh my god, did you all see the shoe? I borrowed it. Because I'm using a different microphone, that's off topic, but that's fine. So I had to put it somewhere, I didn't have a stand, so I was like, I actually put it in a glass. But then it would look free, maybe there would be some kind of echo. So I said, what can I put? And then I took somebody's shoe, bitch, I stole that shit. And then I put it in here, so you're welcome, look at this. Do you want to wear this? I would wear this, would I? We, we'll never know. <laughs> so as I said, certain items of clothes can justify the price, like shoes, like bags, like jackets, coats, blah, 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 blah. Rarely will you justify a price of $3,000 for this hoodie that he's wearing. Like, you're not gonna do that to me. <laughs> or the pants. Like, certain prices are just not justifiable in my eyes. And I'm gonna tell you why, because when you look at him, I am, if you take the brand off of each of the, the those pieces of clothing, you're not gonna have a price of $3,000. The reason it's pricey is because of the brand itself, because people wanted it, so you all you'll know how that, is, how that is priced. But when you look at that, if you think that that is worth $10,000, I will here tell you right now that it's not. Not in quality and not aesthetically. It's just not. And then that is the way, somewhat how I judge these big brands. For example, I ask myself, if I was a millionaire, let's imagine that, would I buy that beanie that actually costs like $500 for a beanie? 
I will not. I will go to fucking grave in my third year year of life before I would buy that beanie. I, I'm just not gonna do it. And same for that hoodie. Same for the pants. I'm not paying that price. And if you are willing to pay for that price, you either have a shit ton of money, or you don't care for it, or you're just fully cracked out. <laughs> and that is fine. But just so you know, it's not worth the money. And again, I have to fucking rant about these shoes that are disgusting in my opinion but that i will say could be because of me because i can see that he's barefoot at least how that's how it looks in this picture um and i hate being barefoot there you go fun fact about me i don't like being barefoot i always wear socks I, and i never wear slippers or any kind of flip-flops whatever if i'm going out so I'm not, I'm not gonna do that and that could be my personal hatred towards these kind of shoes. I just hate seeing bare feet outside. I feel like it's so uncomfortable to me. So that's why I hate it. That's not on him. He looks fine. That's just my personal taste. So yeah, I'm sorry, Jimin. I'm sorry, fans of BTS and Jimin. I just don't like this outfit. Maybe I talk a bit roughly about it, but that's just my approach. That's the way I grew up. So, you know, you, that's fine. You can hate on me. Go down the comments. Please comment, actually, because that will help me. <laughs> By the way, I wish I had a sponsor. <laughs> I wish I had a sponsor because of fucking to talk about something because the car is beeping outside. Let's be silly for a minute then. <laughs> the next guy is RM. He is wearing something that's very comfortable. It's just a track suit. It's a hoodie. It looks a bit oversized, it looks comfortable, it's perfect for flying. In that regard, I respect it, it's a good choice. He is not even wearing Louis Vuitton, this is a Fear of God tracksuit, it looks fine. It's not even that pricey, this entire look probably costs like two, three hundred dollars from what I can see here. I may, I may be wrong, but I don't think it's more expensive than that, so respect for that as well. Um, he looks fine, he looks better than Jimin in $10,000 outfit, but yeah, I just look at this and I'm like, okay, it's a tracksuit, it's a hoodie, you can get it anywhere, whatever. But yeah, he looks fine, I'm not gonna talk much about it except for that. The next guy that we have here is Suga, and I will say right away that I like Suga, I like his appearance. I cannot explain why, there are certain faces that I just respond positively to, and he looks so friendly and nice. He could be the b biggest douchebag from all I know, but he seems like he's actually nice and I would like to hang out with him. Hey, sugar girl, how you doing, girl? Anyway, I, I, I feel like he is the best of them all, but that, that that is in no way an excuse for that outfit. He is wearing denim jeans, which I said I love denim, but I don't like that kind of denim. I don't know why, it just doesn't look good. I guess because it reminds me of like 80s, predominantly, I guess, more 90s movies with dads wearing similar kind of jeans. <laughs> That's kind of what it appears for them to look. I don't know, it's just very weird. I just don't like it. He, this entire outfit is probably the most expensive of the guys. It's probably like, from what I can see, all the pieces, because of it's because it's Louis Vuitton and everything, it costs around $15,000 and he looks the cheapest of them all. Even more cheap than the guy in the hoodie. So yeah, it's not a good choice for him, I will say that. I do like this pop of neon color. I, I respect Neon, I don't know why. I think that, I, I guess I just like everything about 80s, especially the music first. I love how over the top they were, how colorful and bright they were, so I want all of those aspects to return in 2022-2023. This entire decade could be all 80s again. I don't care, especially, oh my god, can we talk about glam metal? Just look at this stunning beauty. I want glam metal to return so bad. I know that there are some smaller bands out there to do that still, but I want it to be fucking famous so let's bring back glam metal but i just feel like saying this over and over again that he looks fine like as much as i hate the outfit itself he looks fine and i feel like i need to stress that more and more each time because it just appears like i hate on them when i'm not i just hate the outfits so the last guy is v and i saved him purposefully for the last place because he looks the best to me i really really like the way he styled this outfit he's wearing by the way a bunch of designers. He has, I think, Christian Dior blazer, Chanel's brooch, Mubiu's Boston bag, Jun Takahashi's shirt, like he's wearing a bunch of the clothing and they all look fine on him. It's very well styled. 
because they dress themselves, it shows that he actually knows a thing or two about fashion. And I do have to also say that this is the third time, it's three videos that I made about BTS, and this is the third time that I like a brown outfit the best. <laughs> I don't know why that happens each time I record them, and I don't even like brown color. I don't particularly think it's pretty, but I like, for some reason I like it on them. They just look good in brown. So yeah, V looks the best. He's wearing gold, different varieties of clothing and they all match beautifully. This floral shirt, which is kind of like green, I believe, from what I can tell underneath the floral pattern. It looks stunning. This guy is classy and mature. He looks great. I really like the way he looks. It's somewhat springish, kind of like the guy that wore old denim gin, right? Um, so yeah, it's good. By the way, can you all tell me any Asian designers out there? Because last, for a few months now, I've been looking into people like Ming Lim and Yui Manakazato, well, who's Xie Guang, I don't know how to pronounce his name, sorry. Guo Pei, she's amazing. Like, I've been following a bunch of Asian artists, designers, who design stunningly creative clothing and I want to know more about them because they seem to have the biggest creativity there. I don't know why I have posted a lot about them online. That's off topic but yeah if you know anyone please suggest it to me because I want to look into it. And yes yeah, so as I said my favorite I'm going to stress this again V has the best clothing choices in this and then the denim guy Jen. Everyone else can pack it up and go home they already packed they're flying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is actually a fun video to make. I had a lot of fun uh, writing a little bit of outline for a script because I like critiquing their personal style when I know it's something that they like to wear. So suggest me something else because I really want to see what else they're doing. <laughs> but my favorite guy is still Suga. I don't know why that a guy just responds to me. Physically, his physical appearance is really nice. So yeah, tell me what his like, what is his personality? You'll probably watch a lot of interviews. What is he like? Is he as nice as he looks? I actually talked to Suga on Twitter. I messaged him and he said, thank you. I saw your video. Thank you so much for reacting. No, he didn't do that. I don't know what the fuck. So that is it for now. I really enjoyed making this and please subscribe again. I have to keep saying that this was a BTS Las Vegas reaction to their airport outfits. Anyway, follow me and see you in the next one. Bye.